sweltering <laughs> weather conditions across the country are posing a test for America's power grid. Electricity experts are warning states may not have enough power to meet the surging demand as grid operators continue to discount the effects of climate change. The North American Electric Reliability Corporation is warning that extreme temperatures and an ongoing drought could strain the power grid in regions across the nation. President Biden addressed the issue today with leaders of the Major Economies Forum on Energy and Climate. To help the EU rapidly reduce its dependence on Russian gas and reduce the EU's overall demand for gas by ramping up clean energy technologies. We'll bolster our energy security and improve the affordability and reliability of energy around the world and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Because we cannot, we cannot afford to let the critical goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius slip out of our reach. And the science tells us that the window for action is rapidly narrowing, rapidly. Joining us now is Nick Loris. Nick is the Vice President for Public Policy at C3 Solutions. He also studies and writes about a wide range of energy and climate policies. So, Nick, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation says more than 90 percent of power outages result from weather-related events. Why are power grid operators not making the necessary adjustments to address these issues? Yeah, a big part of it is uh, the way electricity markets are structured. There's a lot of regulation, both from a regional level and a state level. And oftentimes, uh, those regulators operate in silos. And so there's not a lot of good interagency coordination to make the necessary upgrades and to make the necessary protections against extreme weather. And really now we're having all of these convergence of issues where uh, demand is going to be up as uh, we face uh, hotter summers and people are going to be using more air conditioning. Uh, at the same time, it's going to put more strain on the grid when you have droughts affecting cooling uh, towers for uh, thermal power plants and um, less uh, water for hydro plants. So all of these issues are, are coming at a point where it would not only increase the costs for ratepayers, but also uh, re reduce the potential opportunities for increased reliability enhancements. This month, an early heat wave knocked some six power plants offline in Texas and Ohio. And it's already cut people's power to avoid overloading the system. What options, if any, do residents and vulnerable communities have to deal with these issues? Yeah, that's a, a big part of the challenge. And I think the more we have accurate information with regard to prices and the reliability, it might help consumers to make the necessary adjustments to relieve some of the stress on the grid. For instance, if you have things like smart meters, uh, you can dial up the temperatures, maybe a few degrees, uh, so you're not putting as much stress on the grid. You can run your appliances at night rather than running them at you know 5.30 p.m. when there's really peak demand and you're putting a lot of stress on the grid. So the more we have access to information and transparency, and I think the more we ultimately have competition in the marketplace, that's going to ease some of these supply bottlenecks that we're seeing as a result of less power generation uh, and less transmission. That's ultimately what's going to help uh, create a, a secure and reliable grid, but also one that benefits the ratepayers. Well, given how complex really this scenario is and all of the factors that you laid out that are, are kind of leading us to this point where we are today, what are some of the worst case scenarios, hmm. Nick, for Americans? You know, if companies decide they're not going to update the power grids. Yeah, I think that's the biggest concern. And we've seen what happens in some of these extreme scenarios where people are without power for days, uh, whether that's an extreme cold or extreme heat, that leaves a lot of Americans susceptible to uh, very harsh conditions. And you know what we saw in, in Texas, uh, where hundreds of people lost their lives and were without power uh, for weeks on end is really something to be concerned about. And that's the worst case scenario is if we have more scenarios like that where people are suffering. And, and again, it's our, our uh, disadvantaged communities who are going to suffer most. It's elderly populations who are going to suffer most. And that's why we need more proactive policy that allows uh, for more competition to make these upgrades to the grid, because that's going to bring us uh, more affordable, reliable energy and, and a more secure grid. All right, Nick Loris, we thank you for joining us. Thank you.